Hey everyone, this is Chan. Thanks for coming to Director Cord Wargaming. Today we have a match between Mike and Russ. Mike brought his newly painted Sisters of Battle army, and Russ brought his Salamanders. Today the guys are going to be playing Sweep and Clear out of the Grand Tournament 2021. But before we get into this, if you could like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, join the horde, check us over on Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and all the things. And stick around to the end. We have some close-up pictures of the newly painted Sisters of Battle. And now, let's get into the show, folks. Here we go. Rolling to see who drops first. <laughs> I'm not going to be rolling that dice much more. <laughs> He's rolling one. All right, who's dropping first? Me. All right. Russ is going first. Uh, one at a time? Yep. Sweep and clear. Objective cleared. In this mission, if you control an objective marker at the end of your command phase, it remains under your control unless your opponent controls it at the end of the subsequent phase, even if you have no models within range of it. Primary objectives. Victory points are awarded for controlling objective markers as follows. Take and hold. You control one or more objective markers. Control two or more objective markers. Control more objective markers than their opponent controls. Secondary objectives. In this mission, when players are selecting their secondary objectives, they can, if they wish, choose for one of them to be direct assault. In direct assault, you score three victory points if you control either objective marker in the center of the battlefield or the objective marker in your opponent's deployment zone at the end of your turn, or five victory points if you control both of these objective markers at the end of your turn. And that is Sweep and Clear, page 50 and 51 of the Grand Tournament, 2021. My name is Russ. I've been playing 40k since the end of 7th. Right now I'm playing Salamanders, the only good guys in 40k. Today I'm playing the Chaplain as the HQ Intercessor Squad here. Blade of Honor Guard, Outriders, Intercessors, and then Assault Intercessors, followed by Big Bad Daddy, Agrex Actone. Having Eradicator Squad here, defending the purple thing. The purple thing. <laughs> Assault intercessors, outrider squads, blade honor guards, intercessors, and a judicar. And hiding in the back is the last squad of intercessors. Taking on a beautifully painted Battle of Sisters army today. Playing 1,990 points. So if you want to mention what's in there. I accidentally left one of my eradicator squad members out. He wasn't based. I thought it was a group of five. Totally my mistake. It's two squads of three. Secondary objectives, bring it down, get a point for a victory, for a vehicle or a monster. And if it's 11 wounds or more, you get two. And then raise the banner's eye. If I have an infantry standing on objective and they have it alone, I get one per objective. And hopefully I get some infantry there. I might, I'm playing um, Adeptosaurus today. And my army consists of a Battle Sister squad, um, a Retributor squad, Mortifiers, Celestine and Germain Superior, a Repentia Superior, which, uh, right here, and the Sisters Repentia, another Retributor squad, uh, and Battle Sister, another Battle Sisters. Aglo Fragrance, an emulator, I should, I think I ever said that, and um, a Penitive Engines, Triumph of St. Catharines, a Hospitaller, and then in reserve the Seraphim Squad. And then there's the emulator and Judith. In reserve I have a Seraphim Squad. And how many points is that? Um, Total? A nine, uh, 1,990 points altogether. 
Oh, and I forgot the Palatine. Got a Palatine up here? Yep. She's guarding that one. Okay, my secondary objective is purge the enemy, which if I take out any unit with a Volter, I get a point, a Flamer, I get a point, or a Meltagun, I get a point. And if I can do all three in one turn, I get four points. And my secondary one is holding the objectives, which I, which I get a point for holding the one in the middle, and another point for holding the one in his starting area, and I get extra point for holding both of them. Rolling to see who goes first. Oh, it's six. Oh, gee. <laughs> a two and a five. You go first. All right, Salamanders, turn one. Hopefully, I don't make a mistake. In my haste <laughs> to grab the objectives, I moved and advanced everything in my army that I moved. These are stationary, these are stationary, and this squad is stationary. Things will heat up next turn. Fire and melt up. <laughs> Still got the unit behind there, right? Yeah. yeah, and this unit has not moved. In my rush to grab the objectives, I turbo boosted my outrider squad for 20 inch movement, great mobility there. I also moved and advanced the Honor Blade squad, the Assault Intercessors, and the regular intercessors, and a good friend of mine, the Judicar. We will keep that objective. Keep it for the good guys, right? For the good guys. All right, Sisters of Battle, turn one. So in the first turn, um, I advanced my army up, and then I, I took out one of his units with my mortifiers, my heavy bolters. And that's all the killing I did in the first round. And then which objectives are you holding right now? Um, I'm holding this objective and the center objective. So I'm only holding two objectives. Hopefully three pretty soon. Yeah, I'm holding three. All right, we're going on to Salamanders, turn two. <laughs> Round two, charged these nasty women with flamers, totally eradicated my outrider detachment. Well, we were a little more successful, the chaplain and sergeant, beaten with thunder hammers and crusasms, or you pronounce that chappy, smacky, hitty thing, and took out one, two, four, four. Beautiful eradicators eradicated the nasty girls over here. Oh, took two down. And the boys in the bikes were there much more successful, feeling that gorgeous model, Judith, giving she me is, two victory points. She is dead. Bringing it down with my secondaries, get two victory points for that. I'm holding more objective markers, and I'm holding two, giving me a total of 17 points this turn. Use one command point to make those bikers stronger and head harder. And that is the end of my turn for round two. Alright, here we go. Sisters, round two. Um, this turn I took out two of his units, gaining, com er, gaining victory points, and I got ten points for two objectives. And if you want to say who took out one. Um, so Celestine took out one guy. The My immolator took out a guy, which was kind of funny. And my flamers on my penitive engines kind of wasted a, a unit. <laughs> they toasted these guys yeah, here. They toasted them pretty good. <laughs> and then he hit you back and got some stuff going on. Yeah, yeah he hit me back and hit my um, battle sister squad pretty hard. Which probably won't last another round. And then, he dropped these ladies in here. Yep, dropped them in there and, and shot, but didn't do anything with my shooting. Because yeah, you were trying to target these guys here. Yep. Yeah. Alright, going on to Salamanders, turn three. Yep. 
Last round went really good for me. Got really lucky. Took it out. Took these out before they could flame me and roast me. They're nasty. It took three squads. HQ. My uh, intercessors. Second squad of intercessors. Rolled excellent. Got lucky. Took them out. Taking this objective. Two riders and rider cater squads, which is me with one. Did total obliteration. Got 32 wounds. On one model, overkill, but she's dead. Kept this a subjective. Killed the scissors over here. To this objective, incredible lucky turn on mine, and also maintained that objective, scoring me 15 points. I have 10, 15. Maxed that out, but then I also held more. Gave me 20 points on that. Huge swing. Again, not lucky. And you also got points for killing uh, oh, the monsters, I, too. Thank you. Take them down. I got six points for that group. Total at the end of the game, six points for that group. Didn't meet 12. And things just swung my way. Got awfully lucky with a total of 43 points to opponent 13. Could have swung either way. All right, so we're going to call it there for this one. You guys are alive. Oh, right. Yeah, I didn't use any of my buffs. I should have put the relic of Saint Catherine out leading the army, like like it usually does in the in the pictures. Because with, with with all the buffs and the relics, it it has it. I just kind of wasted the points on it, you know, really, because it didn't do anything. It makes it feel any better. I haven't played. Since March of last year, it's my second game of ninth, yeah. eighth, ninth, ninth. And I forgot all my buffs. Forgot my litanies of hate. But I got lucky and won the game. They could have teetered either way. But yeah, it was a fun game. Yep, it's a fun game. It's my first game with the Sisters of the Battle, so I can only do better from now on. <laughs> 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 only way to go was up. The only way to go was up. Can't get it. Can't go down. <laughs> well, and those dice are. I I do think that's a huge boon. I, you know. That, yeah. Being able to just, just go. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, that's that's deal with it. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did have one time during the game where you threw down three of my ones. That yep, was, that because was I wanted to wound him. <laughs> and it worked. It worked. That was funny for everybody but Russ. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I can laugh. It was funny. It wasn't mean spirited. I know, but it was funny. Nice table, nice strain. Yep. Thank you. I like the evenness of it, so you don't feel like, oh, I'm already lost just because the, the train's going to hose my army. Yeah. Well, and I always try to do a mirror table, so even when you roll to see which side it's on, it really doesn't matter because it's. Which set is up ideal to me. It should kind of be that way. Yeah, it's set up the same on both sides, so. Um, but what units would you guys do differently? Would you throw different things in or take different things out? Or uh, This is your first time with sisters, so yeah. having played them and pushed them around, is there stuff that you're missing or you're, you're like, no, I'm sad? They, they really, I need something that can really so, um, take a hit, you know. So may, maybe the, the ones with, with the shields, the new, the new models. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that might be something to look into. I would see maybe doing another tank. And, uh, and another know, tank? But like a transport. You know? yeah. well, with, with, this is a transport, and when, what everybody says, I, I should have put um, like five fragments in it, or, or Arco fragments in it, and got them across the board, and then, then assault it out, or take them out. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, is I would consider another tank yep. specifically for transport. Yep. Um, that one is really, I mean, it is a transport, but it's extra points. Yeah. I would maybe bump it down to just like a regular rhino. Just a couple of rhinos, thing. yep. Yeah, to just get your guys across the board. Yep. And actually, I, you know, looking at the salamanders, I would probably do the same for you as get something to, it didn't matter in this one because his stuff was slower, but I would get something that you can throw some guys in and get it across the board if you needed to without them getting hot shot. They have every model, so I, I can yep. usually yeah. switch everything out. No. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. sure. I should have I deep strike uh, Celestine too instead of trying to walk her across the board because she's not real fast. That would very good. Because if I could have put her back here with her 
with that sword that does all kinds of damage, I could have probably taken out the guys that were doing all the damage to me. Yeah. Well, or that's something most we talked about, too, is the spacing. So next time, you know, bunching up the spacing back there so he can't deep strike on you. Yeah, keeping everything spread out as far as possible to eliminate being shot in the back by deep strikers. Yeah, just a little screen kind of thing. Or teleporters, I guess, deep strikers. Yeah, the them. teleport chambers. Yeah. yeah, I like the Salamanders. Do they have, uh, what special characters do they have? Available to them. Agrax Agatone is the only one, unless you go to Forge World. And then there's a Bill. I can't remember. He's a Dreadnought, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were just and talking about how valuable are Dreadnoughts. And uh, oh, um, Vulcan. Oh, Vulcan, yeah, Vulcan. He was the old HQ, the tiny boy. Is he worth it? I think Agrax is better. And the model's new. It looks nicer. <laughs> a little cool. Nothing wrong with that. What do you think about the bikes? I guess I I thought the bikes were going to hit a little harder. But you were going against the bigger pennant engines, too. I was yeah. very underwhelmed with the bikes. Poor performance. Maybe I attacked the wrong group with them. Probably because they charged and were melted in flames. <laughs> <laughs> Which is hell better. Shouldn't get burned by flame. They live on a world of fire. <laughs> In the end, when you're dead, you're dead. Well, yeah. right. This is true. Well, good game, fellas. Yeah. Good. Uh, Thanks for having us over. Yeah, absolutely. Shooting this battle report. Yeah. We'll have to do it again. So, uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, join the horde, and we will see you in the next one. Smash the button. <laughs>
no bad game of 40k because you're playing and everybody wins.